Hey, it's Dr. Centeno, and let's talk about a collar test and some of the problems with a collar test. Now, I love collar tests. The idea is that a CCI patient will put a collar on and that will immobilize the head and neck. And consequently, what we'll see is an improvement in their CCI symptoms. Now, that's pretty good because it tells us that the symptoms are coming from the neck if the neck is taken out of the equation. The problem with collar tests is that, for example, many CCI patients have irritation of the occipital nerve back here, and many collars will put pressure on that specific area. So uh, patients will feel worse when they have pressure in that area because it's aggravating the occipital nerve. So that's the downside of collar tests is that they work if you have a well-sized collar and if you're the type of patient where putting pressure on various parts of your head or neck doesn't aggravate symptoms. So that's the, the problem with the edge use case, if you will, of a collar test is that you've got to have the right collar and the right patient. Now, you can try to fix that problem by buying a cheap, inexpensive collar off of Amazon and cutting away the parts that would put pressure on areas that you know are going to aggravate your symptoms. So that's one way to try to make a collar test work a little better for you if you're that kind of patient that can't tolerate being in a cervical collar. So hopefully that helps to try to figure out whether or not a collar test is the right test for you. Hey, get this out to more patients by like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks so much.